DTSS enters phase two. The project continues. The Deep Tunnel Sewerage System, DTSS, has just completed its first phase, which cost $3.4 billion and covered northern and eastern Singapore. The second and final phase, which begins now, will cost us $6.5 billion and cover the rest of Singapore, consisting of downtown and western Singapore. The DTSS is a deep tunnel sewerage conveyance system utilizing gravity to direct wastewater into centralized water reclamation plants for purification and reuse. And it has a total length of 100 kilometers, with 24 kilometers already completed. It was designed more than 20 years ago to improve water capture so as to bolster water security. By moving water treatment facilities underground, the DTSS will free up 214 football fields of land for other uses. It is expected to last for a century, bringing considerable benefit to Singaporeans, making it eligible for funding under SINGA. About SINGA, the Significant Infrastructure Government Loan Act, SINGA, which will be passed in Parliament during its next seating, allows the government to borrow up to $90 billion to pay for major infrastructure projects that last for at least 50 years, such as the DTSS and the Cross Island MRT line. The advantage of SINGA is that the costs will be spread out over many years, ensuring that generations benefiting from the infrastructure play a part in paying for them. Furthermore, as the US Federal Reserve's uh, federal fund rates, uh, one of the lowest in history, it makes borrowing very cheap, freeing up government funds to conduct investments that would generate returns many times more than the interest incurred on loans, making it profitable for Singapore. Singa, being restricted to only nationally in significant infrastructure, ensures that the government does not abuse Singa to borrow money irresponsibly. This is not the first time that Singapore has borrowed money to fund infrastructure, as Singapore built Changi Airport and the MRT in the 1970s and 1980s with loans. Then, from the 1990s until recently, Singapore experienced rapid economic growth, removing government reliance on loans due to expanding per government revenues. Now, as the population ages, driving up government expenditure while uh, revenues stay stagnant, Singapore will have no choice but to once again borrow for, to finance its projects. The government has reiterated that it has no intention to borrow money to pay for recurrent expenditure, such as government handouts, programs and subsidies, as future generations will have to foot the bill for the excessive spending of current generations with none of the benefits, when the national reserves are eventually depleted. COVID-19 breathalyzers to be employed en masse. Breathalyzers that can produce COVID-19 test results within two minutes will soon be rolled out for safe travel arrangements at aviation cruise operations, government checkpoints, immigration clearance at healthcare and medical facilities, and screenings at large-scale events. The breathalyzers cost $27 each, with, the, uh, with correct detection of COVID-19 99% of the time, while false positives for the virus happen 5% of the time. The accuracy of the test is hence not as uh, not bad as uh, compared to uh, polymerized uh, chain reaction PCR tests that are considered one of the most reliable at the present moment. Uh, the COVID-19 breathalyzers will assist us in reopening Singapore to international travel, especially for large gatherings like meetings, incentives, conventions and events.